The F-15EX, also known as the Eagle II, is an American fighter jet developed by Boeing for the U.S. Air Force. Its primary roles are air superiority and ground attack. This jet is an enhanced version of the famous F-15 Eagle series. On the other hand, the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter is developed by Russia's Sukhoi and produced under license by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is designed for multiple roles, including air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance. This jet was specifically customized for the Indian Air Force, integrating Russian design with advanced avionics from India, France, and Israel. And in this video, we will compare these two remarkable fighter jets, examining their strengths, capabilities, and roles in their respective air forces. Let's talk about the design specifications first. The F-15EX measures 19.44 meters in length, has a wingspan of 13.05 meters, and stands 5.64 meters tall. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 36,741 kilograms and an internal fuel capacity of 6,102 kilograms. On the other hand, Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is 21.94 meters long, with a wingspan of 14.7 meters, and a height of 6.4 meters. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 34,500 kilograms and can carry approximately 9,072 kilograms of internal fuel. The F-15EX is shorter and lighter, with a smaller wingspan and less fuel capacity compared to the Su-30 MKI, which is longer, larger and can carry more fuel. When we talk about range and endurance, the F-15EX has a maximum range of approximately 2,222 kilometers without external fuel tanks. It can reach impressive speeds of Mach 2.5, which is approximately 2,660 km per hour, making it one of the fastest fighter jets in service. On the other hand, the Su-30 MKI has an impressive maximum range of around 3,000 km with internal fuel. It can achieve speeds of Mach 2, approximately 2,120 km per hour, while slightly slower than the F-15EX, still provides excellent performance in combat scenarios. Overall, the Su-30 MKI's greater range and endurance give it the advantage in this section. Therefore, the Su-30 MKI wins this section. Talking about engine performance and power, the F-15EX is powered by two F-110 GE-129 engines, each providing 29,000 pounds of thrust, resulting in a total thrust of 58,000 pounds. This gives it a thrust-to-weight ratio of approximately 1.28. On the other hand, the Su-30 MKI is equipped with two AL-31 FP engines, each providing 27,500 pounds of thrust, totaling 55,000 pounds of thrust. This configuration results in a thrust-to-weight ratio of approximately 1.59, while the AL-31 FP engines offer slightly less total thrust compared to the Eagle II. Their thrust-to-weight ratio is higher enhancing the its acceleration, climb rate, and maneuverability. Overall, Su Koi wins this section. Regarding weapon payload, the Eagle II can carry a diverse range of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120 AMROM and AIM-9X Sidewinder, also air-to-ground munitions such as the GBU-31 JDOM and AGM-88 Harm. Additionally, it is compatible with the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile promising greater range and performance. On the other hand, the Su-30 MKI also carries a wide array of weapons, including the R-77 and R-73 air-to-air missiles, KH-31 and KH-59 air-to-ground missiles, and various bombs. It can also deploy the R-37M missile, which boasts a range of up to 300 kilometers, providing a significant advantage in BVR engagements. Both aircraft are highly capable, but the Su-30 MKI's advanced BVR missile capabilities give it an edge in this section. Therefore, the Su-30 MKI wins again. Regarding maneuverability and dogfighting, refer to how well an aircraft can perform aerial maneuvers and engage in close quarters combat. Let's talk about the Su-30 first. Su-30 MKI is highly regarded for its agility and complex aerial maneuvers, such as the Pugachev's Cobra and Tail Slide. The Pugachev's Cobra is a maneuver where the aircraft suddenly pitches its nose up to a vertical position and then back down to horizontal flight without significant loss of altitude, 
and the tail slide involves the aircraft ascending vertically and then falling backward tail first, before re-establishing forward flight. This maneuver allows the Su-30 MKI to quickly change direction and position, making it harder for adversaries to predict its movements. On the other hand, the Eagle II is designed to achieve high speeds and long ranges. Although not as agile as the Su-30 MKI, it can still perform well in dogfighting due to its powerful engines and advanced weapon systems. In terms of maneuverability and dogfighting, the Su-30 MKI's extreme agility gives it the edge to clearly win this section. Regarding avionics and automation, the F-15EX features advanced avionics, AI, and automated pilot assistance, providing automated threat detection, collision avoidance, and mission management. Its digital cockpit displays real-time data, enabling the pilot to focus on mission-critical tasks. In contrast, the Su-30 MKI relies more on pilot skills with its digital fly-by-wire system for enhanced control and stability. While it includes an integrated digital cockpit and multifunction displays, it lacks the AI-assisted systems of the F-15EX, therefore, the F-15EX's superior avionics and automation make it the winner in this section. Coming to electronic warfare suites, which are essential for self-defense against enemy radar and missile threats. The F-15EX is equipped with the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, offering advanced threat detection, electronic attack, and self-protection measures, significantly enhancing its survivability in contested environments. On the other hand, the Su-30 MKI uses the Russian origin L-175M Kibini M electronic countermeasure system, which is effective but generally considered less advanced in terms of threat detection and countermeasure deployment. Thus, the F-15EX wins here. Regarding cost, the Eagle II has a higher acquisition cost, estimated at around $87.7 million per unit, reflecting its advanced avionics and systems. Its operational costs are also substantial due to its sophisticated technology and maintenance needs. On the other hand, the Su-30 MKI, while also an advanced fighter, has a lower acquisition cost, estimated at around $50 million per unit. Its operational costs are relatively lower compared to the F-15EX. Therefore, the Su-30 MKI wins in terms of cost and maintenance. In conclusion, the F-15EX and Su-30 MKI each bring distinct advantages to their respective air forces. While the F-15EX has advantages in technology and systems integration, the Su-30 MKI's flexibility and operational range give it a significant edge in different aspects. Both jets are valuable assets to their respective air forces, enhancing their overall combat effectiveness and regional defense capabilities. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.